The newest GTA Online DLC has released, including a new business that allows you to accept contracts that vary in payouts. Lamar will hit up your phone explaining to check out Dynasty 8 Executives. I can't believe I'm telling you to do this, but listen to Lamar. On Dynasty 8 Executive, there are four locations you can choose from. The location for this business isn't very essential because they're all based in the city and almost all the missions are city based as well. The cheapest location is Lil Sol at barely over 2 million, then Vespucci Channels is about 2.1 million, Rockford Hills is 2.4 million, and lastly the most expensive is Highwick at 2.8 million dollars. There are actually really good customization options for the agency so you might want to cheap out on the actual location and splurge on the modifications. The art options have power and money, free, pop and hype cost $265,000, and loyalty and respect cost $340,000. This basically determines the theme and vibe you want your agency to give off. The wallpaper option is various designs ranging from the free default one to the most expensive that cost $442,000. This option just decorates your wall around the agency and it makes it a little bit more personal. Highlight colored walls costing $100,000 for all the designs, except the default one is free. This option determines the LED setup you want around your agency. The armory option is $720,000. If I was to tell you to buy a customization, this is definitely a must. The armory is your personal ammunition, weapon locker, and much more. At the armory, you can refill ammo, buy armor, weapons, and equip gear, and more. Every item for purchase is automatically 10% discounted as well. And this is actually a huge upgrade because during missions, when you're doing the VIP contract with Dr. Dre, you're going to want to refill your armor. The accommodations upgrade is $275,000, and basically it allows you to set the agency as a spawn point. If you had the extra money, I wouldn't say it goes to waste by buying the accommodation. Lastly, the Vehicle Workshop is $800,000. The Vehicle Workshop is another must-buy upgrade for the agency. This isn't just to have your mechanic in your agency and customize cars. This upgrade allows you to buy and unlock special upgrades for four of the new vehicles in this DLC, and hopefully they add more later. When you customize these vehicles in this workshop, you have the option to equip a Mani Attack. Amani is the new hacker you work with in this DLC, and through this workshop she gives you the ability to buy game-changing abilities. Each card can only have one Amani tech perk equipped at a time, but these abilities include Missile Lock-On Jammers or Remote Control Units. The Missile Lock-On Jammer is definitely a game-changer because it allows the Mark II Oppressor not to lock onto your vehicle. Now that you've finished the buying process, you can head over to your agency on the map. When you enter your agency for the first time, you will watch a cutscene in which you meet Franklin Clinton. He will explain the type of jobs you are doing for clients while he works on getting a huge client. Lamar will show up and talk about his new weed business. Now once you own an agency, there are multiple methods of earning money. You can complete contracts, and to play a contract, you must register as a VIP, CEO, or MC president, and log into the computer in the office in the agency. There are two kinds of contracts. Security and VIP. Security contracts are one free mode mission, and the VIP contract is three missions that contain two setups and a finale. The golf mission and data recovery mission do not have to be completed again when you reach. Between the VIP contract stages, you will have to wait for Franklin to contact you because there is like a cooldown. So far, Dr. Dre's VIP contract is the only one released. The payout for Dr. Dre's VIP contract is $1 million. Now moving on to security contracts. These are free mode missions that can be started from the computer in the agency or by calling Franklin. Calling Franklin is time efficient but you don't know the type of contract or payout you will be receiving. Security contracts also include a cooldown in place and you cannot play multiple security contracts back to back. There are multiple levels of security contracts listed in order of increase in payout. Level 1 is professional at 30k to 45k. Specialist is 45 to 60k, and Specialist Plus is 60 to 70k. The types of security contract missions are Rescue Operation, you go to the location and find the client, kill the enemies without the client being killed, and then bring the client back to the safe house. Liquidize Assets is when you follow the car to the warehouse, go inside, take out the enemies, and destroy the ammunition crates. 
plant the sap fuel charges on the wall and leave the warehouse before they explode. Then you'll have to lose your wanted level. Gang termination is basically a more sophisticated gang attack where you are required to kill 4 gang captains and then flee the area. Vehicle recovery is you go to the garage and go inside. You will have to fight enemies and then collect the car, open the door and drive the vehicle to your agency. Recover valuables. Go to the location, find the safe code, open the safe and steal the valuable object inside. Whatever you do, do not choose asset protection, it sucks. These missions aren't too challenging with an average completion duration of 3-5 to five minutes. If you complete 200 of these contracts, your agency will permanently make $20,000 passively every 48 minutes. Lastly, my favorite and the best way to make money is payphone hits. After doing 3 security contracts, Franklin will tell you about payphone assassination. The first payphone hit will spawn randomly in free mode. You'll have to pick up the payphone. And after completing the hit, you will be able to request payphone hits by calling Franklin. Franklin will tell you about the target. You will be tasked with killing the target in a specific way, which is highly recommended. The bonus money you receive from following the instructions is actually higher than the money obtained from just killing the target. Completing the assassination without the special condition will get you $15,000 and doing it special instructions will get you an additional $70,000. So basically if you complete the assassination following the instructions you will earn a total of $85,000. The payphone hits also have a 20 minute cooldown. That wraps up the agency guide, drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment on any questions you have, and subscribe for more GTA Online content.